Hi there! Welcome to Lesson 3 on how to use Scratch Junior. Okay, so in this lesson we will be starting a new program and we're going to go over a couple different features of Scratch Junior. Okay, so we can see that we had our two previous projects and they're still saved on the iPad. But what we're going to press is we're going to press the white plus button. Okay, so in here we can see that we're starting with a character and we have a blank background. So to start, we're going to choose a background. I'm going to go to the background section. Then I'm going to pick a background. So I picked the river. I'm going to press the check mark. And now I have my background. So we're going to stick with one character for today instead of having two. But we're going to do something special with this character. Before we do that, we're going to add a second background. So to add a second background, we're going to press this plus button over here. So we want to choose a background to also go with the second background. So I'm going to choose something a little bit different. I'm going to pick beach day, which is down here. Now I'm going to press the check mark. And now we can see that we have two backgrounds with a cat on each background. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the first background. So all you do is press the first background and we're going to program our cat. So we have to start with a yellow piece that has a green flag. Our next step is we're going to give this character cat something to do. So we're going to use some movement pieces which are the blue ones. So pick four movements Okay, so I picked four movements. I chose right, up, down, and left. So those are four movements that my cat's going to do. So I'm going to just show you. Okay, nice. It's working just right. So I want my cat to say something. So what I'm going to press is I'm going to press the purple button. I'm going to choose the speech bubble. And I'm going to edit what it says. Question mark. So I have, how are you in my text bubble? And to make this change saved, press the blue button. And you have your little speech button uh, bubble, which will just show you one word out of what you wrote. But it will come up when you press the green flag. Hi, how are you? And you have a little comic going on. So before we end this program, we want to go to the second scene. We want the cat to do something in that second scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the red and instead of using the complete or the repeat function, I'm going to choose go to the next screen. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Okay, and then we end up at the next screen. So how do you think we're going to start this next screen? Well, we have to go to the yellow function. And we're going to choose a green flag. Um, and we're going to say, good. To respond back to the cat on the first scene. Then what we're going to do is we're going to end it by going back to the first scene. So let's press the play button and see what happens. And we can see that it's going back and forth between the two scenes. So what happens is when we move to the new scene and we press the play button, it will keep going until one scene has a finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the stop button. I'm going to go to the second scene. And instead of going back to the first scene, so you could go back and forth between the two scenes as much as you want, but I'm just going to finish it and I'm going to put a complete button. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go back to the first scene. I'm going to press the green flag. So it says, how are you? And then our second character says good. And that's where we finish our program. Okay. Thank you for watching this lesson.